Welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be running you through how I turned an old arcade cabinet into an homage to one of my favorite movies of all time, Big Trouble in Little China. Ready, Jack? I was born ready. We're not back by dawn. Call the president. So I just want to start by saying that this is technically the first arcade machine I ever bought. And I previously knew nothing about PCBs or jammer wiring or retro pies. Um, I bought this machine and started working on it. And in the meantime, um, was buying other machines and fixing them up and learning everything along the way. So. Um, I did not approach this with a ton of knowledge, background knowledge. Um, I saw it advertised on Gumtree, which is like an Australian version of Craigslist, um, for a thousand bucks. And as I started talking to the previous owner about it, um, we, they sort of <laughs> ended up telling me that it, it wasn't turning on at all um, anymore since they'd actually listed the photos and stuff, it had stopped working. So we reached an agreement of $500 and I was just gonna take it as is. Um, and, and when I got it home, basically, um, I realized that the screen was faulty, the buttons were really cheap, and it had a Pandora's box inside, which I didn't actually want because I'd since purchased another machine and it had a Pandora's box inside, a better one. Um, so I didn't want that. The other problem was too, of course, is that the wiring was totally frayed. In some cases, it was completely cut to certain buttons. Um, speakers had rust all over them. The wiring inside was just messy and disgusting. Um, so I actually decided what I would do is completely gut the machine and start again. This way I could kind of customize it exactly the way I wanted it. Um, so I started by actually measuring it up and sending off um, for some artwork. I found a company called Noodle Shirt. I'll leave a link in the description below. They basically printed everything that I wanted for the machine, including the acrylic for the bezel and the light up marquee. Um, and, and brilliant, really good quality work. So very happy with their stuff. Um, I then went and bought all the buttons, joysticks, flat screen monitor, LED light strip, sound system, and jammer harness. Um, I'd never done a jammer harness before. Um, so that was actually easier than I thought. And I recommend anyone who's worried about it just to give it a go, um, it's not that hard. If you follow the diagram for player one, it's the exact same thing for player two, so the second half of it's much quicker. Um, I already had a Pandora's box in the other machine, like I mentioned, so I wanted this to have a MAME set up. The only thing I'll add to this is that I basically found something called an arcade blaster. This thing is foolproof. It's already pre-configured to go into an arcade machine. They also make them for cocktail cabinets. Um, so you've got no configuration issues. They don't even have a configuration option in the menu. It's that straightforward. Um, some people prefer to use the Raspberry Pi and do all that stuff themselves. Totally do that if you can. If you can't, this is a really good option. It costs a bit more, but basically you end up with something that works out of the box, which is awesome. Um, all the emulations um, for the old consoles and stuff. It only has games on it that work. It only has consoles on it that work. There's no messing around with hot keys and all that stuff, it's all done. So anyway, highly recommend them. Um, get one if you can, really, really good. Um, absolutely love this machine, couldn't be happier with it and, and can't say enough about how cool this movie is. Hope you like it. Um, so please um, just leave me a comment if you've got questions about how I did stuff, where I got stuff, whatever it is, um, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, take care. Ah, you know what old Jack Burton always says at a time like this? Who? Jack Burton. Me.